introductory level. The definition of agroforestry. Agroforestry is the method of cultivation that combines agriculture with conservation of trees on a farm. You can choose to grow trees that are fruit trees or timber trees. Intercropping all these agricultural plants together on your plot involving small livestock as well brings you to a productive agroforestry system. What it entails is maximizing the use of the area that a farmer has. What the farmer is doing, it is building forest cover and allowing forests to regenerate for wildlife habitat and as well as generating an area that is vibrant and alive with biodiversity. Benefits of agroforestry include nutrient conservation in soil for continuous production of crops, water recharge and conservation, crop production year-round for the farmer, soil biodiversity conservation, food and firewood for the farmer. Modeling for agroforestry systems are adaptable for specific circumstances according to a farmer's goals and objectives. The approach could be to regenerate from degraded land to a healthy productive system or maintain forest cover on the farm. Farm plant development is unique to each farmer. Steps to farming for each can be different in each community. Each farmer can look at several key ideas but not limited to farmer's objective for his or her farm. The farm layout will be dependent on existing landscape, structure and natural features. How the farmer will involve the rest of the family members and the type of sustainable practices that the farmer is capable of adapting with resources available such as technical support and financial. Cacao nursery management can be broken down into two areas. One, nursery site selection. Two, nursery establishment. Firstly, let's take a look at nursery site selection. This includes looking at the following. Source of water for caring for young seedlings. Easy accessibility to nursery site and the importance of where you will be able to transplant your seedlings to. Fertile soil for best seedlings, proper seed selection for production, and easy shade management within the plot. Secondly, we take a closer look at nursery establishment. Nursery should be established during the month of April to June, with taking special consideration to the moon cycle, and for high germination rate and survival, cacao seed should be pre-germinated. Depending on the acreage the farmer is planning to establish, it is recommended to germinate a little more than 350 seedlings per acre to account for loss during the process. Cacao farm establishment. This includes preparation of cacao plot in degraded land, which involves the preparation of the plot, where the farmer clears and then pegs for the 350 plant per acre. This is recommended at the end of the second month of germination. Marking where trees that will provide permanent shade will be located, therefore, the recommended 40 feet apart between rows. Preparation under existing forests include underbrushing, the selection of trees that will be left standing, and marking with a string 12 feet between plants and rows. After all these preparation and the marking, the farmer is ready for transplanting of seedlings into the plot. Intermediate level. Cacao farm management entails two sections. One, nursery management. Two, plot management. Looking at nursery management, this entails watering schedule, which is dependent on climatic conditions, pests that can be found within and around the nursery, which could affect young seedlings, and arrangement for easy weeding and transporting of seedling when ready for transplanting. Under plot management, it is important for the farmer to do proper management of plot, which begins at three to four months after planting. The farmer will need to pay keen attention to the seasonal crops that is cultivated within the plot and when it is ready for harvesting. Another important aspect of plot management is weed control for proper growth rate of the cacao seedling. This also will bring in the proper shade management, which will help the farmer to have better crop production. 
Cacao Agroforestry Plot Maintenance After the plot is established comes the two-year period of proper maintenance. The farmer will need to focus on having the plot clean preferably three times per year. The farmer will also need to have a shade management strategy which will look at 60% shade in the first year, 40% shade second year and 30% shade third year. Maintenance strategy looks at paying attention to weed control in the plot preferably done every three months. This leads to create a system in place for the farmer to use continuously. Another important aspect is pruning and tipping so that the farmer will keep his trees in shape for production. Soil fertility comes into focus for the farmer to continually maintain healthy soils. To do this, the farmer will need to do mulching, composting and biochar production. Benefits in doing this will help the farmer to retain nutrient, proper water management, production increase and adaptation of organic farming practices. Cacao Agroforestry Sustainability looks at common pests and disease. This include squirrels, woodpeckers, monilia or better known as black pod, infected cuts, stem borers and root rot. For management of pests and disease, the farmer will need to clean plot regularly, manage water in the plot and ensure proper drainage, use sanitized equipment for pruning, manage the number of visitors coming into plot to avoid contamination, Eliminate and bury disease pads from the tree. Advanced level. Cacao production. Harvesting. Harvesting is from October to June and the peak of the season is April and May. During the harvesting season, ensure that the cacao is ripe. The color will indicate the ripeness. The picking should be done using a shear or a harvesting knife. Ensure to cut close to the pod. Pod and bean separation. This can be done either by knocking the pod on a rock or striking the pod with a blunt object. No knife and or machete should be used to avoid cutting the bean inside. Collect the bean and put them in a sterilized container. The cacao processing. The farmer will either choose to sell wet cacao bean or ferment then sell or wash and dry for storage or home consumption. The fermentation process looks at the use of a fermentation box and a wooden paddle. The farmer will ensure that the box is lined with leaves, preferably or recommended banana leaves. The beans are then covered properly in the box and turned every 24 hours for 5 to 6 days. During this process, the color of the beans will change from a dark purple to a very light purple or reddish in color. The farmer will ensure that the bean testing process will result in the fermented bean color that is required. Ensure that the beans are properly aired, then taken out for sun drying for 5 days. Marketing Marketing includes the creating of label for products that the farmer envisions to produce from the cacao bean. This include but not limited to valid added products such as chocolate, cacao nibs, cacao powder and other, any other chocolate products that takes the bean to make additional value for income generation to the farmer's family. Fire management. Fire management includes the planning of how to manage the use of fire on your farm and to prepare yourself in the event of an escape fire that may affect your farm. The farmer will need to contact a certified fire boss and he or she will need to inform the neighbors and gather as much equipment needed to fight the fire. The farmer will have to have a fire plan. This fire plan entails maintaining a buffer around the agroforestry farm and it will also require the farmer to take some fire training. Alternative use of fire can also be looked at. This will take into consideration integrated fire management approach.